8 Strange Facts About Tom Hanks You Never Know About Him One Tom Hanks is a relative of President Abraham Lincoln. Hanks, who narrated National Geographic's 2013 historical drama Killing Lincoln, boasts ancestral ties to the 16th President of the United States. Through Lincoln's mother, Nancy Hanks. The four-time Golden Globe winner is a third cousin, four times removed of Lincoln's. The former president's great-great-grandfather was John Hanks, who was also Tom's great-grandfather. In 2019, Hanks also found out, thanks to researchers at Ancestry.com, that he shares some DNA with Mr. Rogers. It all just comes together, you see, Hanks teased when he learned the news from Access Hollywood. 2. Tom Hanks has an asteroid named after him. NASA named the 12818 Tom Hanks after the seven-time Emmy winner. His Sleepless in Seattle and You've Got Mail co-star Meg Ryan serves as the namesake for the 8353. Meg Ryan and the two asteroids, discovered seven years apart in different hemispheres, had a cosmic rendezvous when they made their closest approach to Earth in September 2011. Tom Hanks worked as a hotel bellman and a peanut vendor. Before finding fame, Hanks brushed up against stars when he worked as a bellhop for Hilton Hotels during college. He spent two years studying theater at Chabot College before enrolling in California State University, Sacramento. It's the greatest job, carrying bags for sports and entertainment figures, Hanks told Seventeen in 1985. I carried Cher's bags when she was married to Greg Allman. I gave Sidney Poitier a ride to the airport. Hanks also used to sell concessions, including peanuts and sodas, at Oakland A's games as a teenager. I went down to sell peanuts and soda, thinking it would be like in a TV show, he said on Jimmy Kimmel Live in 2019. Well, first of all, I got robbed twice. Then, I came across professional vendors, who did not like the fact that kids were there. Things turned out less hostile, for Hanks, when he returned to provide the voice for stadium vendors during A's games in 2020. 3. The world celebrates International Tom Hanks Day in April. On April 2, 2004, a group of Western Michigan University students had a Hanks movie marathon and earmarked the day to honor the Greyhound star. They made t-shirts for the occasion and the holiday took off around campus. It turned into just a backyard kegger where we hung out all day, founder Kevin Turk told the Chicago Tribune. Turk brought International Tom Hanks Day, celebrated on the closest Saturday to April 1st, with him to Chicago when he relocated to the Windy City after college, and it continued to amass a following. The event, which will next happen on April 3, 2021, is going virtual this year to accommodate the COVID-19 pandemic. For Tom Hanks earned a Presidential Medal of Freedom. President Barack Obama awarded Hanks with the honor in 2016 for not only his film work, but his social and environmental justice efforts and advocacy on behalf of veterans and their families. Ellen DeGeneres, Robert De Niro, Michael Jordan, Diana Ross, Bruce Springsteen, and Cicely Tyson also received the Presidential Medal of Freedom the same year as Hanks. 5. Rita Wilson is Tom Hanks's second wife. In 1978, Hanks, then 21, married his college sweetheart Samantha Lewis, with whom he'd welcomed son Colin the year prior. They had another child, daughter Elizabeth Ann, in 1982. I thought I was rolling along with the natural order of things. Hanks told BBC's Kirsty Young of having kids at a young age. He and Lewis divorced in 1987 and Hanks married Wilson, who he met in 1981 on the set of Bosom Buddies, in 1988. They have two kids together, sons Chet and Truman, born in 1990 and 1995, respectively. 6. Tom Hanks is an honorary citizen of Greece. Through his marriage to Greek-American actress Rita Wilson and charity work for the nation, Tom Hanks is an honorary citizen of Greece. 
He also joined the Greek Orthodox Church upon his marriage to Wilson. Citing exceptional services to Greece, authorities in Athens announced they had decided to not only grant the 63-year-old Hanks Greek citizenship, but extend the offer to his wife, the actor-singer Rita Wilson, and their two sons, Chester and Truman. Although he may not star in the films himself, Tom Hanks helped bring two of Greece's most famous film franchises to the big screen. Both he and Rita Wilson are executive producers of Seven Tom Hanks is a typewriter collector. Some people collect stamps, others baseball cards, but Tom Hanks collects typewriters. That's right, Tom is an avid typewriter enthusiast. His collection comprises over 100 typewriters from around the world. A huge fan of typewriters, especially manual ones, Hanks has purchased more than 250 from around the world and was highlighted in the 2016 documentary film California Typewriter. His first book, Uncommon Type, 2017, is a collection of 17 short stories, all incorporating typewriters. He began his collection in 1978, when he took his plastic typewriter to a restorer who refused to repair it calling the replica a worthless toy and convinced him that quality typewriters are real, steel, durable machines. Hanks walked out of the store with a Hermes 2000 beginning his obsession. Due to his keen collector's habit, Tom Hanks decided to introduce his love of typewriters into the modern age. In 2014, Hanks helped develop and release a typewriter app for the iPad that functions with the same keyboard and physical typewriter sounds. 8. Tom Hanks helped fund Forrest Gump Tom Hanks paid for the iconic cross-country running scene to be in Forrest Gump himself after the studio said it was too expensive. Forrest Gump remains one of the most iconic Hollywood films in Tom Hanks' career. The running scene at the end remains memorable, but the scene was rejected by the producers claiming it was too expensive to shoot. At the time of its release, Forrest Gump, 1994, was the biggest hit of Tom Hanks' career. The film won the Academy Awards for Best Actor and Best Picture, and was a gigantic hit at the box office, but the film was predicted to be a failure before its release. The film studio did not want to grant the production a huge budget, so the actor stepped in to help fund what he deemed to be crucial scenes in the film, most famously the scene of Forrest running cross-country. Hanks also offered to be paid by how much the film earned at the box office, which turned out to be far more lucrative.